call you rice lovers? You're a rice lover? Oh, Asian rice lover. I mean, I can eat rice for breakfast, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Today we are doing kale brown fried rice. This is a one pot dish and so obviously it's going to be super simple, super easy. Also we are adding some amazing superfood ingredients to this dish. So it's going to be super healthy. This is my go-to guilt-free fried rice and I hope after watching this video, this becomes a frequent dish on your dinner table. Guys, we are so thankful for the overwhelming number of messages we have received for our past recipes. I hope you continue to like our videos and please subscribe if you want to keep updating yourself with such amazing recipes. First superfood we are using is kale. We are using lacinato kale. This is also known as Italian kale. Just like Brussels sprouts and broccoli, Kale belongs to the cabbage family and is packed with vitamins and loaded with rich antioxidants. To prepare the kale for our fried rice, I've washed the kale leaves thoroughly. Then I'm folding each leaf with the top side folded inwards and cutting along the stem. Please do not throw away the stems guys. I don't think it's very sustainable. The stems are healthy and delicious too and it just takes a little longer than the leaves to cook. Cutting the dry and hard end of the stalks. Then I'm cutting the stems at an angle. I'll be sharing some tips on how to cook the stems. Our second superfood, preserved anchovies. Anchovies are rich in omega-3 fatty acid and this reason alone should compel you to consume anchovies, sardines and salmon on a regular basis. One of the other amazing wholesome ingredients that we are using is garlic. We all know garlic has amazing medicinal properties. I'm slicing the garlic for our fried rice. Then we are using free-range eggs and leftover brown rice. Later in the video, I'll be sharing some useful tips to prepare your perfect fluffy brown rice. Now that I've introduced you guys to the main ingredients, let's start cooking. First, I'm cracking two eggs. I'm gently beating them with a fork. Using a non-stick pan, I'm adding in just a drizzle of oil. Beaten eggs go in and I'm letting it cook. Please do not start scrambling at this stage. Once the bottom part of the egg spread is cooked, I'm sort of creating bite-sized pieces instead of scrambling. Moving on to preparing the fried rice, I'm using a Dutch oven. Please use any cooking pot you have, preferably one with a lid. You will see why. Add the oil from the preserved anchovies without dropping the anchovies. The heat is on medium flame. Allow the oil to heat up slightly. I'm adding the anchovies and garlic. Chop 
chopped chilies go into chilies are completely optional but i like my food slightly hot this part will take a bit of patience you're going to cook the anchovies and garlic in low flame so that the garlic releases its flavor in the oil and the anchovies completely disintegrate please resist the urge to crank up the heat once the anchovies and garlic have attained the desired consistency i'm throwing in the sliced onions i want the onions to be crunchy therefore i did not add them in the beginning and slicing instead of dicing will give you the desired crunchy texture since my dutch oven is soaking up a lot of oil i have added a drizzle of canola oil next within a minute from adding the onions i'm throwing in the kale stems mix well and cover because the stems will require some steam to cook after 5 minutes i'm adding in the kale leaves you can see i'm using a generous amount of kale because the leaves are going to shrink and i want the goodness of kale in every bite of the delicious fried rice we are making here i'm covering the pot so that the kale leaves shrink and the moisture from the leaves will further help cook a tin of anchovies may seem a lot for the brown rice but together with the kale stems kale leaves and brown rice the current amount of used anchovies is absolutely perfect in fact if you guys like the overpowering flavor of anchovies please feel free to add an extra can i like the balanced flavor of kale anchovies chilies and onions so this works for me after 3 to 4 minutes i'm adding in the cold brown rice leftover cold rice is the best for preparing fried rice this is how i prepare my brown rice i have used 1 and 1/2 cup of brown rice washed it 3 times and then added 2 cups of water I like to add just a tiny drizzle of oil to cook the rice. This makes the rice fluffy and the grains do not stick to each other. Lid on and flame on high. Once the rice starts boiling, bring down the flame to absolute low and cook for 15 to 20 minutes. Then turn down the flame and let the rice sit for at least 10 minutes. Always use a fork when your rice is hot. This will ensure your rice stays fluffy and does not stick. Okay. That's how I prepare my brown rice. Now I'm adding the cold brown rice to the kale and anchovies. Flame on high from now on. and i'm sauteing the rice in order to incorporate all the kale and anchovy goodness and by the way i've not forgotten to add salt preserved anchovies are salty so i'm going to try a bit of the rice and check if i need extra salt I'm going to add a bit of salt. The salinity of each anchovy can may vary, so taste testing is important at this stage. Mix well. And finally, I'm adding the fried egg. I prepared the eggs in bite-sized pieces so that I get to enjoy the eggs in every bite of my fried rice. serving two plates of kale brown fried rice I'm adding a bit of green sauce on the side Ahmed said he wants a bit of both sriracha and green sauce I have a tutorial on the cilantro and cucumber sauce please check it out if you guys are interested With this we are ready to taste our kale brown fried rice Let's eat 
Thanks to the Sriracha, by the way. <laughs> Sriracha King. I think this is a very wholesome dish. It's a dish on its own. I don't feel like cooking a side dish or something. Yeah, it's uh, completely standalone. I'm not missing a side. It's so flavorful. The, the flavor of the anchovies are just melted in the dish. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I love the fact that it's so delicious and yet it's so healthy. Um, it's got all the superfoods. Yeah. It, it's, it's amazing. Wow. Brown rice, so it's a healthier option for mm. your rice lovers. You're a rice lover. Oh, Asian rice lover. I mean, I can eat rice for breakfast, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for today, guys. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Happy cooking!